Hi, this is Nick Williford and Manos Perlakis, presenting case 291 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating one of the less common complications of PCI, which is accordioning or longitudinal stent deformation. The patient had a right coronary artery CTO, medically refractory angina, was referred for PCI of the right coronary artery. The CTO had a blunt proximal cap right after the takeoff of a large acute marginal branch. Distal vessel was diffusely diseased and there were some uh, bridging collaterals, but the distal vessel was mainly filling through contra contralateral septal collaterals. And this is on the RA of you. So to summarize, we have a blunt proximal cap, length about 30 millimeters, diffusely diseased distal vessel, and septal collaterals to the PDA. Our plan was to try undergrade wiring first. If that didn't work, go retrograde through septals, and if that didn't work, use undergrade dissection reentry. We did multiple undergrade wiring attempts. We used uh, an angulated microcatheter because the wire kept on entering into the marginal branch. We did use polymer jacketed wire, but this was not successful because the wire was again entering into the marginal branch. And we also tried stiffer wires, Sky NX1 and NX2, but we were unable to puncture through the proximal cap. So after multiple attempts, we decided to switch retrograde. We used a SUO or three guide wire through a septal collateral. And um, by doing surfing, we were able eventually to advance the guide wire through the septal. However, there was a challenge, which is that the wire um, wanted to cross uh, in a different direction. Instead of going towards the proximal part of the vessel, the wire went into the distal part of the vessel. And we confirmed we were in a true lumen. We see here that the guide wire is going towards the apex. So what to do here? We pull the wire back, and then we were fortunately able to redirect it towards the proximal PDA. Once again, we confirmed that we're in true lumen, and sure enough, the wire is in the distal true lumen. And then we were able to advance the retrograde microcatheter. The problem, however, here is that there was this bridging collateral that uh, was biasing the wires. The wires wanted to just follow the course of this bridging collateral. In a way, this is very similar to what we had in the undergrade direction, where the wires wanted to go into the um, acute marginal branch. So we try with different uh, guide wires, but the wires kept on entering into this branch. Then we switched from polymer jacketed to a Gaia, a Gaia next to wire. And that uh, seemed to go initially in the right course, but then eventually we were unable to get through. So we have this situation where we would not penetrate neither the proximal or the distal cap. Therefore, we decided to move to the third step, which was to do undergrade dissection reentry. This is a slightly oversized balloon into the proximal right, trying to create a knuckle. However, the wire kept on entering into this uh, acute marginal branch. Um, despite multiple attempts, uh, we were unable to, to make the wire to knuckle and go to the true lumen. So what can we do next? We went back uh, into the um, undergrade wiring that did not work against going into the marginal. We tried to knuckle on the retrograde side of the polymer jacket, but once again, no uh, advancement into the lesion. And uh, when trying to advance the retrograde again, retrograde wire again, the wire kept on going into a course likely of this bridging collateral. So once again, we took a stiff uh, guide wire, the guy NX2, and that now seems to be going a little better along the course of the vessel. And then we switched it for the polymer jacketed wire. And the Mongo now seems to be going extra plug next to the undergrade system. So after having the retrograde wire go all the way to the proximal cap, we were hoping that now would have a good target for undergrade system. But once again, we were unable to puncture with an undergrade guide wire. We did a retrograde Carlino, injection of a small amount of contrast. We see now that there is some filling proximally, 
And then after this, we took a Gladius Mongo guide wire retrograde. And that wire went into extra plaque initially. And then eventually, after a few manipulations, the wire turned and uh, entered inside the undergrade Kai Kaster. So essentially, retrograde to to true crossing with the Gladius Mongo after the Carlino. We predilated, but we have this situation, despite predilatation, we don't have good flow into the distal PDA. So what to do? Maybe we did not completely treat the lesion, so we did more predilatation uh, more distally. And after that, we had a good restoration of undergrade flow. We did intravascular ultrasound. And the distal vessel seems to be of good quality. There's some calcification. And then here we're in the extra plaque location. We're coming back more proximally. That we're true lumen here as well. Again, not much calcium. And then going all the way to the guide catheter. So we first placed a 48 millimeter drag eluting stand in the mid right coronary artery. And that part looked okay. However, distally, there was an area of likely dissection. We had done ballooning there. And there was also disease in the distal right coronary artery before the cracks. So we decided to stand that as well. We placed a second 48 millimeter drag eluting stand from the distal RCA all the way to the PDA. And uh, this provided uh, a nice result. There was also what appeared to be a small dissection proximally, and we had significant pressure dampening throughout the case. So we placed the stand in the proximal right coronary artery, essentially a full metal jacket. Things look good now, and fortunately, we still have flow inside the acute marginal branch, even though the acute marginal branch does have a dissection. We did the intravascular ultrasound, and that does show good expansion of the stand, good apposition of the stand. Um, the run was too long and ran out before we got to the ostium, so we did uh, do I was uh, all the way on the ostium, and we did confirm that the stand was nicely covering the ostium of the vessel. So good expansion, and the stand goes all the way into the order. Next step is to remove the retrograde guide wire. We advance the retrograde microcatheter inside the undergrade guide catheter. And then we pulled the retrograde wire, but this caused the guide to deep seat inside the vessel. You see how the guide dove in and went to the mid RCA. And now what we're seeing is some denser stent struts in that part of the vessel that wasn't there before. So essentially, what has happened? is that uh, the stent we placed in the proximal right coronary artery has been compressed. This is an example of longitudinal stent deformation, which is also called sometimes the accordioning effect. The stent essentially crumbled after being pushed by our guide caster when it dove deep into the right coronary artery. Fortunately, in this case, uh, we had still very good flow. We still have a wire position. So uh, what we did next uh, is uh, we placed uh, an, uh, um, a new wire because the retrograde wire was partially withdrawn. We didn't have access to the wire. And then uh, we removed the retrograde gear. We checked that the left side was okay. And then we placed another stand in the proximal right coronary artery. And this uh, provided a nice result with Timothy flow and once again, good uh, coverage of the RCA ostium. There was no more pressure dampening after this. Multiple lessons here. The first one is sometimes when there is a blunt proximal cap, especially at the takeoff of a side branch, the undergrade wiring attempts may not work and retrograde might be needed. Here we had an unusual wire course, both when going undergrade and retrograde, likely following bridging collaterals. So when the wire does not follow the course of the vessel that we think is the correct one, then we should be careful not to push it too much, as this can cause perforation. What helped enormously in this case is the Carlino technique. 
we had this difficulty with retrograde crossing. We did the Carlino technique, followed by a polymer jacketed guide wire, which technically is a form of HDR, and that successfully crossed into the proximal true lumen and into the undergrade guide caster. And finally, one should be aware of the risk of longitudinal stent compression when the guide dives deep into a coronary artery and we have proximal stents. In this case, the deep seating of the guide caused compression of the initially placed stent in the proximal RCA, which made us need to place a second stent in the proximal RCA to make sure that the ostium is covered. Thank you.